What's the deal, man? It's Boyd McLean at the Wayne McLean TV, man. We live from Hurricane Ian, man. Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel. Shouts out to everybody rocking with the boy, man. I actually do like the weather of a hurricane. Like, I don't really be really be too nervous with them. So I'm on the east coast of the state, so hurricanes is the culture for me. You know what I'm saying? We've been having these my whole life. You know what I mean? Um, I do love a nice level one, level two hurricane. You know what I mean? Like a level three, no. Level four, definitely not. Level five, I, I don't think I've ever seen a level five. I think Katrina's the only one I ever heard about. I think Hurricane Floyd, when I was a kid, um, was a hurricane, was a level five. Hurricane Floyd, Hurricane Fran. Hurricane Fran was a level five. I remember that one. Yeah, not the trees over. Like, but, um, Man, it was just the culture, the family coming up, the power going out. I don't know, man. I don't know why I like that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I hope the power doesn't go out tonight. I really don't. And, and people who don't have their power on right now, be with y'all. You know what I'm saying? God be with y'all. And, and, and um, let's hope y'all y'all got all your supplies up. If you don't have supplies out there, find somebody with some. Ask them for it. Hope you can meet a kind person that can help you out. You know what I mean? Uh, go find a shelter somewhere. You know what I mean? If you can, get out. But to my people out there, y'all just, just be safe, man. Send my prayers up. And all my good, positive energy out. We will get through this. We done, we done survived through numerous hurricanes numerous of times. You know what I'm saying? So this ain't nothing new under the sun. But to my people that are struggling right now, this, you know what I'm saying? God be with them. You know what I mean? But uh, hey, besides that, uh, Shout out to the DNTV fan, man. Appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel, man. But uh, people was hitting me up and they wanted me to know or ask me, do I personally think that the government controls the weather? All right. Now, that conversation or that question can be answered in a number of numerous ways. All right. You got to look at it in, the, in four different, different ways like this right here. Like how often are they controlling the weather? If the government can't control the weather, how many days of the week are they controlling it? You know what I'm saying? Um, I should have put some videos together for y'all, but I did one on my Patreon about how they made, um, subscribe to my Patreon as well. I got good content on there. Um, I got, um, I did a story on uh, how Dubai had the fake rain. I actually went in depth of where it come from, where it started, how it goes. It's like they put salt in the air. And uh, man, God be with them, man. There's another ambulance, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just Lord be with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Let the world, you know, hold everybody safe. You know what I'm saying? But, um, they did a, um, uh, they say it's basically salt. They put drones in the air, it's in salt. It does something else and it, it can cause the rain. Uh, they, they have let us known throughout history and numerous of times that they have some way to manipulate the weather. I don't think they have 100% control. I do think, uh, I do believe in a higher power. So I do believe this, this planet is being run by something else govern the government <laughs> that, that surpasses the government. And uh, I do believe that uh there is a natural weather you know it's, it's always been rain it's always been the sun you know it's always been cloudy days so there's only so much they can mimic but i do believe that the government can you know manipulate the weather i do think some earthquakes are kind of the government you know what i mean god been doing earthquakes for years i do think some earthquakes are the government we have seen them uh, unload numerous and numerous of bombs on the sea blowing up the sea level you know what i'm saying i think if you know about earthquakes the tectonic plates is moving or something so I do think they got ways to make an earthquake machine. If you throw it up, what's that word called? Fracking. Fracking is kind of like they're going to the ground doing wild stuff, like you know, like stuff like that. Um, I do believe that hurricanes can be strengthened, you know, with enough heat. All it takes is like it's all a chemical game, heat and cold air mixing, make, make like tornadoes and stuff. So I do think that some places, the government, if they want to hide something, they want to get rid of something. Hey, let's you know, uh, there's a hurricane coming. Let's make it stronger than it has to be. You know, I think they did that with, with Katrina. You know, I think Katrina was one of those ones where uh, they used it as a way to get rid of a lot of the big time spiritual people in New Orleans. Uh, I think they did it as a way to help um, to, to get rid of uh, a lot of black people. Uh, ritualistic purposes. I do think they had some like government reasons why. I did I did a study on like a, a story on a while back. Not on my channel, just personal. And um, I read about Katrina. I know there was something something there. I should have researched before I did this video, but I'm coming off the top, y'all. And a lot of my videos, I come off the top with no research. So, you're not saying no research, but I come off the top with prior research in my brain. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm just on, on the camera, it's freestyling most of the time. So, uh, forgive me on that. I will try to make sure I'm prepared, you know what I'm saying? i do these videos, but the thoughts as they come, I wasn't even thinking about speaking on Katrina at all. But since we're talking about hurricanes, you know what I'm saying? Do the government manipulate the weather? Sometimes. For certain reasons and certain ways to push certain agendas i'm pretty sure um i don't think they have control i do really think they, they, they can make the atmosphere hotter i do think they have ways of that there was a story how they sent stuff up in the air to make the atmosphere hotter there's so many stuff these scientists be doing many scientists these billionaires really lose their minds they're really like low-key 
the mad scientists in the room, these billionaires really do too much. Bill Gates has done a lot. I know there's been plenty of talks. I'm trying to want to block the sun out. And speaking of Bill Gates, um, I seen it on the same channel. I don't think it was him, but there's a machine that can make a cloud and it can drop rain. And at the very end of the video, the dude said, would you believe it? They're playing God. <laughs> that was the last thing he said. He said, they're, they're actually playing God. I'm like, oh, okay. That's what they're trying to do with this whole weather thing. That's what I think man been trying to do for the longest, you know, trying to become a god in a sense. So that's why they put so much money in artificial intelligence and quantum computers. Who made the quantum computer to go that far? Who made the um, um, the thing with the Mandela effect that shoot the little beam? That thing called CERN. Who made that thing? Who made them? It had to be humans. So if humans made them, they're trying to do stuff to play God. Like there's a, peop a group of people out there who want to be like, you know, we can... Uh, become the supernatural ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Or that's all part of God's plan, you know what I'm saying? And he put these thoughts in their heads because these thoughts had to come from somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he's human, you know, that's a whole other story, you know what I'm saying? Back to the government controlling weather. Uh, some other instances, like forest fires, I feel like that'd be a lot of the government, you know, so some people feel like forest fires are part of the weather, you know, I don't know how, but I feel like it's some part of the government. Dust storms, I feel like there's a way they can get enough dirt in the air and dust on some areas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but there's always has to be a reason to why they would want to control the weather. You know, I feel like the reason why they want to control the weather, uh, insurance, for one, insurance. I got an ugly thumb. <laughs> uh, insurance, um, uh, a way to keep the people in fear and to say the shock, uh, to implement more rules. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this hurricane came. We got to make sure we have this severe weather stuff going on just in case this happens. Um, they can, they can make a tornado happen. I do believe they can, if they want to put the money, but then, you know, it's, it's kind of expensive to do these. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure the government, if they're really going to make a tornado happen, they got to drop some bread, but they can make a tornado happen. But it, it, it would take some time. They're not going to just do it in the day. They got to have the drones in the atmosphere for a couple of days at a time. So they want a tornado to happen on this day. It's going to be a week in advance. But I think it's like, well, ballpark number, like $50 million just for one tornado if they want to make a tornado. But that's, that's chump change for the government. That's chump change. I think that's for a light tornado. If they want like a tornado to really do some damage. I think it's like 300 to 400 million. I, then I Google these numbers, all right? <laughs> I Googled all this stuff, how much. And it's like, man, you got to really dive deep on the internet to find this information. I should have had it all ready for y'all, but I'm giving y'all ballpark numbers. I do know it cost for these drones, you know what I'm saying? But um, all in all, man, what y'all think, man? Does the government control the weather? Is Hurricane Ian, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, another government thing, you know what I mean? And also, question of the day, what's your favorite weather? For me, a rainy day is my favorite weather, number one. Number two is a sunny day. Number three, it got to be a nice cloudy day, but it's right there. It's the sun and number three is like right there, neck and neck, you know what I'm saying? Number four, it got to be, um, uh, you only got like, like, a, um, you only got like three, three days, really. No, no, the snow. <laughs> I, nah, I think the snow got... Cause I barely get snow, but I know I couldn't do with snow every day. Like, so that's why I got snow at number four. Like I, in a, in a, in a week, I like to have two rainy days, three days of sun and one day of cloudy or like a, uh, or two days of cloudy, two days of sun, two days of rain and one day with a mix of all four, like a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, a little bit of clouds. That's a perfect week for me. Perfect week. What's y'all, what's y'all favorite weather day? What's y'all favorite day, day of the week? Like weather, I don't know. I answered that wrong. What's your favorite weather, man? <laughs> the snow for me got to be last. I don't like driving the snow and I'm too clumsy to be in the snow. I love the snow. I love it. I love making snowmen and rolling and doing snowball fights and just seeing it fall down and eating it. You know what I'm saying? And peeing in it. I love the snow. You know what I mean? But um, I couldn't deal with it every day. Then I'm clumsy. So, y'all, man, it's the boy doing the clay TV, man. Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. We're going to be recording some more as soon as I get back home. Yo, everybody stay prayed up. I'm on like a couple minutes from home, so I'm safe. So I'll be blessed, I'll be safe on my own.